Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to improve your grammar and to learn grammar and to learn from your grammar errors that you make in your reading, your writing, and in your speech. Okay, so um, ChatGPT Chat and other AI programs can be a really great help if you know how to use them the right way. And language learning. Um, Oh, it's so hard, right? So any tool that can help you learn is a good one. Now, a tool that can help you cheat is not a good one. So I'm not suggesting that this would be doing your writing for you. I'm talking about doing um, this as a learning tool. Okay, so let's take a look over here. I'm using ChatGPT, so chatgpt.com. And I'm going to, to ask it to help me out. I'm Today, you know, in my grammar class, I learned about adjective clauses and I'm a little bit confused about what it is. So I'm going to ask it to tell me what it is. So what is an adjective clause? Oh, an adjective clause. Ooh, look at all that information. Okay, so I can read that. I could say make it more simple, simple, make it more simple. Okay. Oh, okay. That's much more simple. Thank you. All right. Now I need to see more examples. That example, the dog that barks loudly is mine. That's a good example, but I need more. Give me five examples of adjective clauses. Ooh, okay. I see. The car that she bought is very fast. The teacher who helped me is retiring. The house where I grew up is for sale. So I see that each adjective clause in these examples is starting with a new word. Why do adjective uh, clauses start with different words? Who, whom, whose, which. Oh, now I understand. We use who when we're talking about people. We use whom when we're talking about people. We use who's when we're talking about possession. We use which for animals and things. We use that for everything. Oh, that's really helpful. But what's the difference? Be what's the difference between who and whom in an adjective clause? <clears throat> ah, okay. So who is used as the subject of the adjective clause? And it gives me an example. Whom is used as the object of the adjective clause? And um, I think I'm a little confused about that. A lot of people are confused about this. This is a hard part about adjective clauses, but give me more examples of whom used as the sub, as the object of an adjective clause. Okay, and so you can focus on the area that you need help with, okay? And you can see all these examples, okay. Um, another thing you might do after asking it to explain the grammar and to um, give you lots of examples is you might say, hey, you might point out the error you've made, like you have made a grammar error in your class um, and your teacher pointed it out, or maybe you're writing something and you want to check if there's an error with it. You can say, what's wrong with this um, sentence? Okay, and then you type, I met a man that he is very nice. This is my sentence with an adjective clause, but my professor said there's something wrong with it. Why is it wrong? What's wrong with it? Okay, what's wrong with this sentence? Here. <clears throat> because it uses the wrong relative clause, okay. So I need more, I need more explanation, you can say, if you don't understand. So you can see I'm digging deep into that one grammar error, okay? And then I would read this part, okay? Um, so this is a really great way that um, ChatGPT can help you with grammar. You can also ask it to refer you to videos on this grammar form that are, that are helpful. You can even type in your own examples of adjective clauses and ask it if they are correct. 
Uh, but what you shouldn't do is turn in work for an assignment in a class where you have used ChatGPT, Grammarly, any AI service to correct your errors for you. Because then what you're doing is you're losing and missing the opportunity for your teacher to give you feedback and help you understand where you're at. Your teacher can see your errors and say, hey, I know where you need help. This is what you need help with. And you also lose the opportunity if you don't do it on your own. So make your errors. It's an important and necessary part of writing. So turn in your own work, right? And get feedback from your professor on that work so you can see your learning and where you're at. But as you're learning at home, without submitting work or using it for a test, use this tool to help you learn more, see more examples, have a better and more clear and specific explanation or whatever it is that you need. All right. Bye, everyone. I hope that was helpful.